everybody. All right, today I'm going to show you a car that I have actually never driven as it is now that I just finished uh, converting. Uh, it's a front wheel drive car with the Proto front wheel drive body, which is a body I really, really like that I've been using on my MST TCR so far. And the chassis be below that originally is the Osomatic A700 EVO 2, which is a shaft-driven four-wheel drive touring chassis, which is fairly old now. Now they have only the, the belt-driven and the one with the, the central pulley and so on. And so let me show you. Hold on, I've made a, a little bit of a different body mount at the back. I'll show you later. And so here you go. I had this chassis for quite some time. I bought it on eBay a few years ago and it's a great chassis. It's a really good chassis. I loved I bought it because I loved the design that have those shocks are really unique. Uh, it makes everything the whole center of gravity really low. You don't have the shock towers that are that are not allowing some of of the bodies like the LMP bodies and so on. And I, I, I mean it, it's it's a great chassis. I like it, but like I said when I was reviewing my ADAM, I'm really not a fan of the four-wheel drives and the touring cars, and so I wasn't playing with it that much. I was running it mainly as a Euro truck, and yeah, so I had this one moving around, and I wanted to see because Osomatix uh, is coming up with uh, their front-wheel drive car. There were some pictures for a while online showing an FF version and then it seems like finally they have the belt driven with the motor perpendicular, I mean in, in the same way, the, the same axle as the wheels, the belt in the middle and so the, the motor is here and then they have a couple of weights in the front and I thought, can that be done with A700 so I can actually see if I can still enjoy this chassis just in another form. And so originally, this is the front of the chassis and this is the rear and I didn't want to have to fiddle with it too much or make too much construction I wanted to see how can I convert with as much of the original part as possible and so that's what I did I switched sides I didn't move anything except for the steering here the steering rack used to be attached at the bottom here and I found out that the mounting holes are pretty much the same as the mounting holes here. So I've remounted the steering racks. You see, I've put some spacers, some little brass spacers, and I've remounted the steering rack on the top here. I've mounted the servo on one used to be the battery mount over here. And the motor is where the motor used to be. I just removed the shaft in the middle and it had already a gear diff at the back. I just flipped the gear diff so I don't need to switch the direction of the motor. And that's pretty much it. It's 100% of the original parts that make the drivetrain and that make the steering. So you can see the steering is full lock. There is plenty of space. This is never going to touch. Uh, I don't have a great servo horn at the moment so I'm using a cheapy plastic one that I have. And the geometry is just, I have to test it, all the, the toe and so on has not been set yet. And what I had to construct, I have this design for a shorty battery tray that I use on, on my sidecar and as a car. So it's just double sided taped, it's, it stays great. So I just put this one on and in the front I've designed this mount for the bumper plate, which is, this is from a LMP Speed Passion chassis and I attached it from the top because there ain't no holes at the bottom and I just didn't want to make any holes right now plus the space is fairly small at the middle here so I think I could have only had one screws to attach it so this way this is the weak point if that crash probably the 3d printed parts will pop out but it's better that this breaks than anything else bends in the front just notice that this is loose and so yeah let me let me just show you a little bit around so i've i have now uh, the 13.5 here it's i'm running 64 pitch 
and I think the layout is going to be pretty balanced. I'm probably going to add weights underneath here and underneath here and I'll have to test to see if the car requires more weight in the front but at, at the moment the weight is pretty well above the center line. When the battery is here I think that the, the center of balance would be around the end of the ESC over there. So I'll have to see if I, if I need to increase the weights in the front or not. I think I have something loose in the in the diff. I'm gonna have to fix that. And at the rear, I have used what used to be the bumper mount here and those little sideways body posts. And what I've done is I've 3D printed this part that I designed that I double sided taped to the end of the body and so I can slide it in here, slide the back and then put the front in the body post and this way I don't need to add any body clips at the back and it mounts just like that. So that I think is going to work pretty well. It should be pretty resistant and I don't think it's going to do much bad news on impact. And so here you go, this is my yet to be tested freshly converted automatic A700 EVO 2 front wheel drive version for you guys. So have a good day, have a good night and I will see you tomorrow for more. Bye bye.